Some places are just plain spooky. From the history to the way it looks and feels, it makes you feel like a character in a horror movie. Hello everybody, I'm your new host Emily, and today we're counting down the top 10 real places on earth straight out of a horror movie. Number 10, Dracula's Castle in Bran, Romania. Bran Castle is a castle in Bran, Romania that is a national monument and landmark in Transylvania. It's commonly known outside of Transylvania as Dracula's Castle because it's the only castle in all of Transylvania that actually fits Bram Stoker's description of Dracula's Castle even though he never visited Romania. Most historians agree that Vlad III Dracula never set foot in Castle Bran, which was neither a friendly place for him to visit nor under his rule. Nonetheless, this castle is still creepy. The castle has 57 rooms and of course, a secret passage. While being beautiful during the day, the castle takes on a whole other look at night. In the villages near Bran, there is a belief in the existence of evil spirits called ghosts or strigoi. Until half a century ago, it was believed that there existed certain living people who were leading a normal life during the day, but during their sleep at midnight, their souls left their bodies and haunted the village, tormenting people in their sleep. So yeah. I'd stay away from this castle at midnight. Number 9, Savitri Bai Puel Hostel in Chandigarh, India. This is a hostel where spirits have been seen by students. Apparitions with and without heads are noticeable from the windows of some of the hostel rooms accompanied with loud thumps. The hostel security official Bal Karan said, I suddenly heard a lot of shouting from the fifth floor. It must have been around 3 a.m. then. When I reached the girls, they claimed they saw a mysterious person floating around. I checked the entire premises with two colleagues but couldn't find anything. Experiencing goosebumps at the slightest mention of a floating apparition, girls in the hostel kept their lights on while sleeping and let music play in the background. A student said, this is not someone's imagination, more than 10 of us have seen the ghost. Don't dismiss this as mere superstition. Number 8. Lizzie Borden House in Fall River, Massachusetts. The Lizzie Borden House is notorious for being the home of Lizzie Borden and her family, and it is the location of the 1892 unsolved double murder of Lizzie's father and stepmother, Andrew and Abby Borden. At about 11.15 a.m., Lizzie discovered her father dead, repeatedly struck in the head with a sharp instrument. Upstairs, his wife's body was found, even more brutally mutilated. No weapon was found, though an axe found in the basement was suspected. Lizzie was arrested and tried for both murders in June 1893, but was acquitted, giving the circumstantial evidence. You can now take tours of the house, or even stay the night. While some guests do not witness anything, many regularly claim to experience strange things throughout the house. This includes strange odors, voices, objects moving on their own, feeling touched at night, and footsteps. This house is considered one of the most haunted houses in the United States. Number 7. Island of the Dolls near Mexico City, Mexico. Island of the Dolls is a small island just south of Mexico City where hundreds of dolls hang from the trees. Legend has it that a young girl mysteriously drowned in the river. Her doll was found and hung from the tree in tribute. But not long after, it was believed the doll was possessed by the girl. So the man who originally found her, Julian, kept bringing more and more dolls in an attempt to please her spirit. After 50 years of collecting dolls and hanging them on the island, Julian was found dead, drowned in the same spot where the girl did. Many people on the island believe that Julian has joined the other spirits on the island. After his death in 2001, it had become a tourist attraction where visitors bring more dolls, some mutated, and hanging from trees. The island has become very famous and has even been featured in many articles and TV shows including Ghost Adventures and Lore, and was also featured on BuzzFeed Unsolved. Local legend says that the dolls move their head and arms and even open their eyes. Plain old dolls can be creepy, but a whole bunch of them on an island? I'm out. Number 6. 
The Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado. The Stanley Hotel is an 140 room hotel about 5 miles from the entrance to Rocky Mountain National Park. It was built by Freeland Oscar Stanley and opened on July 4th, 1909. The Stanley Hotel inspired the Overlook Hotel in Stephen King's 1977 best selling novel, The Shining. In the years following the publication of The Shining, the Stanley Hotel gained a reputation as a setting for paranormal activity. It has hosted numerous paranormal investigators and appeared in shows such as Ghost Hunters and Ghost Adventures. Stanley died in 1940, but many believe his presence can still be seen and felt at the hotel, mainly at the bar and in the billiard room. The ghost of his wife, Flora, has a habit for tinkering around the hotel's piano, according to multiple accounts. The fourth floor is the most haunted, with guests hearing children's laughter in the hall with no one to be found. Down the hall in room 407, multiple guests have reported being tucked into bed by some invisible force, and others have felt someone sit on the foot of the red only to find nothing there. In room 428, some have seen the vision of a cowboy looming over their bed as they slept or standing in the corner. There's also been a photo captured of a spirit on the main staircase of the hotel. This hotel inspired a horror movie, so it's a big nope from me. Number 5. The Paris Catacombs in France In the 18th century, amidst a public health crisis relating to the city's cemeteries, authorities decided to relocate the cemetery's remains to an abandoned quarry. This effort created the meticulous arranged Paris Catacombs lined with bones that holds the remains of more than 6 million people. As one visits the catacombs, a sign above reads, Arrête, c'est ici l'Empire de la Mort, which means stop, this is the empire of death. The catacombs of Paris became a curiosity for more privileged French, and an early visitor was the Count of Aristos during 1787. Public visits began after its renovation and the 1814 to 1815 war. First visits were allowed only a few times a year with permission of an authorized mines inspector, but later more frequently and permitted by any mine overseer. Over the years, it was open monthly, weekly, and eventually daily. The idea of this was smart, but going to visit it and seeing all those bones from dead people, that makes me uneasy. Number four. Hoya Bashu Forest in Cluj, Napica, Romania. This forest is located in Romania and it just looks creepy. It's filled with crooked trees, contorted into strange shapes, almost as if they're attempting to warn visitors. It's known as the Bermuda Triangle of Transylvania and there have been many reports of UFO sightings, ghost encounters, and unexplainable illness. There are many legends and stories about this forest, perhaps the creepiest being about a young girl who disappeared only to emerge five years later with no recollection of what happened. Like, what? The Hoya Bushu Forest has been featured in paranormal documentary TV shows from Ghost Adventures to Destination Truth and a Swedish series. Let it be known that you will never find me taking a stroll in this forest. Number 3. Bellwitch Caves in Adams, Tennessee The Bellwitch Cave is near where the Bell Farm once stood and is approximately 490 feet long. This cave has been associated with the Bell family where they were haunted by an entity now known as the Bell Witch. According to the the legend from 1817 to 1821, the family and the local area came under attack by a mostly invisible entity that was able to speak, affect physical environment, and shapeshift. Some accounts record the spirit also to have been clairvoyant and capable of crossing long distances with superhuman speed and or of being in more than one place at a time. The Bell Witch Cave has been associated with the spirit of Kate Batts, who allegedly haunted the Bell family as she was believed to be cheated by them in a land purchase. In the particular legend in which the cave is featured, young Betsy Bell and some of her friends had gone to explore the cave. While they were there, one of the boys crawled into a hole and became stuck. A voice cried out, I'll get him out. The boy felt hands grasping his feet and he was pulled out of the hole. The supposed entity, still invisible, then gave the young explorers a lecture on reckless cave exploring. Many believe that when the witch departed the family, she fled to the sanctuary of this cave. Number 2. The Conjuring House in Harrisville, Rhode Island Originally called the Arnold Estate, this house came filled with horrors. In January 1971, the Perrin family, Roger, Carolyn, and their five daughters, Andrea, Nancy, Christine, Cindy, and April, moved into a farmhouse. 
Not long after moving in, the family reportedly experienced all manners of paranormal activities, from apparitions to physical attacks by unseen hands. The most frequent apparition was that of a woman with a broken neck who came to be popularized as Bathsheba Sherman. Paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren inserted themselves into the family's alleged experiences, making the case famous via their lectures and eventually The Conjuring film. The Perrin family claimed that the paranormal experiences went on for almost 10 years until the family had to abandon the house in 1980. Today you can do tours of the house where guests report being touched and hearing voices, including one that will often warn guests to get out of the basement if there is a malvoyant spirit around. And number 1. Queen Mary in Long Beach, California Queen Mary is a retired British ocean liner that sailed from 1936 to 1967. She sailed to the port of Long Beach, California where she was permanently docked. The city of Long Beach bought the ship to serve as a tourist attraction featuring restaurants, a museum and a hotel, but claims were made that the ship was haunted. There are resident spirits including Jackie, the little girl who haunts the first class pool, John Petter who was crushed by a watertight door, senior second officer William Eric Stark who accidentally drank cleaning fluid instead of gin, and the cook, who was baked alive by his own kitchen staff during World War II. But arguably, the most notorious location on the ship for paranormal activity is stateroom B340. Reports claim that someone was knocking on a door in the middle of the night, bathroom lights turning on by themselves, the sink faucet turning on and off on its own, and unexplained bathroom doors shutting. Some guests have reported the covers of their bed being pulled off while asleep and waking to see a dark figure standing at the foot of the bed. Even the hotel's maids started complaining about the experience and were scared. The room was closed for guests for many years due to all of this and all I can say is no way. Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 real places on earth straight out of a horror movie. I definitely wouldn't want to go to any of these places. I'm your host Emily, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.